Okay, so here's our second loose connective tissue. In this one, you really don't see um, much in the way of fibers, but you can see that there are a lot of large swollen cells. It kind of has the appearance of bubble wrap, or some people think it looks a little bit like chicken wire, if you know what chicken wire looks like. Okay, so each of these round structures that you see here is an adipose cell or adipocyte. And another way to say that would be that it's a fat cell. Okay, so um, in this space that you see here, there used to be triglyceride, a type of lipid being stored. Now there's really nothing in there because of the preparation process. But you can see that since all the space was taken up by the um, lipid, there wasn't much room for anything else, including the nucleus. Okay, so when you do find an adipocyte that has a nucleus in it, the nucleus is always pushed right out to the edge of the cell. Okay, so this particular cell, you can see a nucleus. This one, kind of hard to tell. There might be one here. This one doesn't look like you see a nucleus at all. This one either. Okay, and this one's a little bit out of our frame. That one might have a nucleus. Okay, so the reason I'm pointing this out is because uh, sometimes people will confuse adipose tissue with simple squamous epithelium in the lung, which we looked at a little while ago. And remember, when we were looking at the lung specimen, the alveoli had lots of nuclei all the way around, whereas here, no nucleus except for the one associated with uh, the actual cell. Okay, so if you're an adipocyte, you just have that one nucleus, there won't be uh, any others around, okay? Um, so large swollen cells, nucleus pushed out to the edge, not a nucleus visible in each cell, classic adipose connective tissue.